What's up everyone? Today I'm down at Dick Brooks Honda checking out the all new 2017 Honda Ridgeline. Huge shout out to them for providing this vehicle for today's video. Definitely check out their website in the description below. Hope you all enjoy this video. Under the hood is a 3.5 liter direct injected V6 engine. This vehicle produces 280 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and 262 pound-feet of torque at 4,700 RPM. This particular vehicle is only paired to the 6-speed automatic. Two different drivetrains are also available. You have front-wheel drive and Honda's all-wheel drive system can be offered on any model. It does come standard on the Black Edition and the RTL E model. Today we're looking at the RTL. This does have the all-wheel drive system. The curb weight on this vehicle ranges between 4,200 and 4,500 pounds depending on the model. Zero to 60 can happen in just over six and a half seconds with a top speed of 112 miles an hour. Seven colors are available for this year's model. This is the modern steel metallic. And as far as MPG goes, for the front wheel drive it's rated at 19 city and 26 highway. And for the all wheel drive you're looking at 18 city and 25 highway, both running off a 19 and a half gallon fuel tank. There are also seven different models available this year, ranging in price from $29,000 to $41,000. Again, we're looking at the RTL with all-wheel drive. The Ridgeline is made from a unibody construction, which is shared off of the Honda Pilot along with the Odyssey as well. It also comes with an independent rear suspension setup. Compared to the previous generation, the front end is more aggressive. The lower grille is now one piece connecting the fog lights. The upper grille is a little narrower, but the chrome piece on the top ties in both the LED headlights and there are very sleek lines along the hood. For the side, we'll start off with the C-pillars. They're much more narrow and more vertical than the previous generation. There's a nice line that runs the length of the vehicle on the side about door handle high, and all models feature 18-inch wheels with different finishes available for them. This model features two-tone alloy wheels. And for the brakes, you get 12.6 inch ventilated front discs and 13 inch solid rear discs. The wheelbase on this truck is 125.2 inches. The length measures 210 inches. The width is 78.6. The height is just over 70 inches. You also have a ground clearance of eight inches. The approach angle on the front wheel drive models is 19.2 degrees. And for the all wheel drive, it's at 20.1 degrees. And the departure angle for the front wheel drive is at 21.4 degrees and 22.1 for the all wheel drive. And finishing off in the rear with the two way tailgate, which I'll show later in this video, you have the square shaped LED taillights and of course a class two hitch. Now we'll go ahead and take a more in depth view of the interior and there's two ways to unlock this vehicle. Of course you have the key fob, but with that in your pocket, as long as you place your hand inside the door, you'll hear it unlock. Inside, the door panel has nice leather along the armrest. You already have tons of storage space, and there's more down below. Front windows are automatic up and down. You have the rears, of course, lock and unlock, your gas cap release, and of course, a nice release handle. Both front seats are fully automatic. Of course, you have forward and back. The seats also go up and down as well. And then you have adjustable lumbar support. Very nice leather seats. And now inside, I'll go ahead and double tap on the engine start button to light up the gauges. You have your tack on the left side, your speedometer up top in the center, of course your engine temperature and fuel gauge, and then all the settings in the center screen. And then with my foot on the brake, go ahead and start it up. The visibility on this truck is excellent. Of course, looking out of the front, you have a clear view. Looking over your left shoulder, not much of a blind spot. With full four doors, you have a lot of glass to look out of, and even a small glance out of the rear glass as well. 
Looking over your right shoulder, of course, hardly any blind spots. You have clear visibility out of that rear glass, of course. Not much of a blind spot here. Of course, your side mirrors will help you as well. Your rear view mirror does an excellent job as well, looking out of that large glass in the back. So overall, you have great visibility in this truck. The steering wheel is wrapped in leather, has a very nice, comfortable feel to it. You have all your steering wheel controls. This goes through your radio, you have volume, all your Bluetooth controls, and then these are the screen controls. So you can go through your distance, range, there's tire pressure, your oil life, things like that. And then you can also reset as well. You have more of your cruise control buttons on the top. On the left side, we have your side mirror adjustments. There's an economy button. You have traction control button, and then the lights that are in the cargo bed. You also have the e-brake located down below, along with your hood release. Speaker on that side as well. Coming along the dash, we have your 4.2 inch screen. In reverse, you also have a backup camera. So that's nice to use. Up top, you have a sunglass holder. And then a few more garage door buttons and of course, both your lights as well. And we'll take a quick look at the sun visors. Here's your start and stop button. You also have dual climate control buttons on both sides. Some more storage down below and a power outlet. Both front seats are heated. And this button located behind the shifter is part of Honda's intelligent variable torque management system with their all-wheel drive system. Pushing on that button in the all-wheel drive model allows you to go between normal, snow, mud, and sand. If you have the front-wheel drive model, you'll only have normal and snow. And what this does, instead of actually putting the truck into four-wheel drive, going through those modes, will send the power to the wheel that it needs to be in whatever condition that you're in. We have more storage in the center, a slidable tray, and then two more power outlets located down below, a USB as well. So a good amount of storage space in the center. We'll take a look at the glove box now. Have a lot more storage space. And then a quick look at the interior. Now we'll go ahead and take a look at the rear seating. Door panels are the same as the front. Nice leather on the armrest. A little bit of storage space and a cup holder as well. Nice leather seats continue on to the rear. You have a good amount of foot room in here, especially a lot of room underneath the driver's seat. And of course, a lot of headroom as well. A neat feature as well, you go ahead and pull on this lever on the seat. It will actually click up into place, allowing you for a lot more storage space if you need it. And these just fold down and click into place when you put the seat back down. You also have an armrest with more cup holders. And the rear glass is fixed, but you have great visibility out of the rear. Before we move on to the bed, I'll just go ahead and pop the gas cap real quick. So you see that automatically opens up. With the ridge line, it only comes with one bed length. You have full four doors, of course, and the same wheelbase for all the models. The bed is just over five feet at 64 inches. And we'll go ahead and take a look at the two-way tailgate. We can either pull on this handle. You'll see the backup camera there as well. Inside you have 33.9 cubic feet of space. And you also have some pretty heavy duty tie downs located around each corner of the bed. So we'll go ahead and open the tailgate up the other way now. The handle's located under the all wheel drive emblem there. You also have two bed lights, which you can use that button located on the inside I showed you to turn those on and off. We have more storage on one side. Now we'll go ahead and look at the interior bed space, which can be locked. Open that up. You have 7.3 cubic feet of space. This is very deep. I'm very surprised how much room you have back here with also the spare tire. So you can put a lot of tools back here and have them safely locked. I think that's a very nice feature to have. 
Another cool feature to point out is that the wheel wells have actually been eliminated inside the bed. So that allows for even more storage. You can put like sheets of drywall, things like that, and not have to worry about them sticking out on either side. So that really opens up the bed. This truck can also be fitted with a 400 watt AC power inverter in the rear of the bed. And last up is the class two hitch. On the all wheel drive model, you're looking at a towing capacity of 5,000 pounds with a payload capacity of 1,500. For the front wheel drive model, you're looking at 3,500 pounds for towing and just over 1,400 pounds for the payload capacity. We're about to go for a test drive in the Ridgeline now and the first thing that I noticed is how solid the doors feel. It feels very solid, it's gonna have great construction and that also helps with the overall uh, noise reduction being inside the cab. So behind the wheel of the 2017 Ridgeline now, I already feel very comfortable in this car. It has a nice smooth ride, visibility again is excellent. Going over a small pothole like that even, I didn't hardly feel that. But I feel very high up in this truck. It's very cool, you have great visibility out of the front of course, and you can see a majority of the hood. The road noise in this truck too is very excellent. It's not very loud. We're on a pretty bumpy road right now, and, and again with the suspension you can't feel any of those bumps and of course the noise is dramatically low inside as well. And going around a few turns here, it handles very well for a pickup. Another feature that I didn't mention earlier in this video is the armrests that you have for both the driver and passenger. Of course you can put them up as you saw previously in the video, but having them down, they're in a nice comfortable position. So the green economy button that I showed earlier in the video what that does is turning that on, of course, you'll be able to have a better gas mileage. It does affect the throttle response just a little bit. Again, that'll help with saving fuel. And then it does cut a little bit of power to the AC as well. But putting that on, getting out on the highway and cruising, definitely see higher numbers in the estimated MPG for this truck. But we can put it into that eco button. It actually gets quieter, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Wow. We'll flip it back on. So that again, I guess, would be from cutting a little throttle response. It makes the engine wow, much quieter as well. So now we're getting onto the highway. Go ahead and punch it a little bit. It definitely has some get up and go. No problems merging into traffic or anything like that. I like the power that it, that it delivers. And going over the bridge bumps again. Very smooth over those, wow. The wind noise, or the road noise too, riding on the highway is very quiet. You almost barely hear any road noise or anything. Very comfortable ride even out on the highway. So that is my walk around and review of the 2017 Honda Ridgeline. If you're looking for a great comfortable daily driver, something that can tow a lot, has a great amount of cargo space inside and in the bed, this is definitely a great truck that can provide you with all those options. Once again, I'd like to thank Dick Brooks Honda for providing this vehicle for today's video. Definitely check out their website in the description below. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it the thumbs up. Click on that subscribe button down below, like our Facebook page, and follow us on Instagram. I'll see you all next video.